Hi everyone, Ann Cornick from Paint and Porcelain Exchange. I'm here to teach beginners how to get started in China painting and if you're one of those people who have been painting a while, hopefully to inspire you to do some of the new things that we're doing. Um, today, we're going to be dipping lusters. Now, where are we? We're in my basement. That's where we are. And, uh, let's just go through some of the things that you're going to need. Okay, so I have cups. The reason I have cups is we need warm water, so I have a thermos here fill with warm water. Uh, that's what we're going to be dipping our ornaments in. Now I have ornaments. I have um, these ornaments, which are glazed, okay? And I have a light bisque and like a creamier bisque. I don't know if you can tell if I hold them together. You really can't, but at least give you an idea of what I have. And you're gonna need something to fire with. So these are great if you can get these. If not, you can use kiln furniture of any kind. And I just uh, pop it on there. But it, before you do that, um, this is an old jewelry rack that I had around the house. Anything like this will do. You want to be able to dip your ornaments, then hang them. And I think if you do that, um, that way by the time you get to them, they'll be dry. And then you can put them on these little sticks and put them in the kiln to fire and you won't get stuff all over your hands. So what I did on my ornaments is some of them I just put a hook on. Now take that hook off before you fire it because you don't want metal in there. Um, others I just put a little tab on. Um, I also have toothpicks but I have um, a pipette and it's, or a dropper. Um, and I'm going to try this because I want the color to be rich, and I think the more I have, the richer it will be. Um, this is different than the last time we dipped these. I've done it a couple of times. Dipping ornaments, um, uh, I was using a toothpick to put the stuff on and then stirring it. You don't do that now, according to, um, this is all from Nancy uh, Bergman and the class I took in Indiana. And if you haven't taken a class from her, you really need to take a class because she is just the expert in this and can answer any of the questions that you have. The other thing that I've done, I have my hot water here, is you can use old lusters for this. As long as they're running. See this one? I don't know if you can tell, but it's real runny. Um, if they aren't, I would say don't use them for this application and don't try to water them down to make them that way. Have fresh lusters. But see, like this one, this one's a little gooey, but not bad. Um, all old lusters are anything over a year old. Um, I have here a, a yellow pearl. I have a, a lilac. I have a green. I'm pairing it with a, a, a blue-green that I just bought. So I want to see how the old and the new kind of mix together and which ones I like the best. Um... And I laid them out in front of me in pairs ahead of time so that I know how I'm going to pair these up. The other thing is, when you dip your lusters, uh, dip your ornaments, you can only dip um, two at a time, maybe three, but the stuff starts building up and going away and you won't get a nice ornament if you dip more than that. That's why we're gonna use, we have plastic cups we're gonna put the water in. And uh, that way we can change them frequently so that we get really nice, uh, clean lusters. Now this is the way the bisque will come out. It'll be dull. It won't have the glow that the uh, other ornaments had. Here are some of the others that I've done. And you can see, this is the one I did last week. You can see the color on those um, and how shiny they are. Only the, um, the porcelain, the ones that are glazed, come out like this. The others come out dull, but some people like them, some people don't. I feel like uh, it's probably worth it um, to have both available so that you can see them. Okay, now let me look at my notes just so I don't forget anything, because I learned from Nancy Svensson Bergman. <laughs> Her middle name is Svensson. And... Um, uh, she's she's fabulous. So I told you, old lusters can be used for this. This is a good project for them. Reds, this is important. Reds, pinks, and purples sink. So what's the point of using them? They sink right to the bottom. 
They will not stick to your ornaments. They will not float. And then what we're going to do is put the lightest color in the water first. Let it form like a halo. And you're not going to be able to see this very well because of the distance. But trust me, uh, you let it form a halo. It'll just fan out. And then you dip your, you put your darker lusters in the center, a drop or two. Then you dip your ornament. Okay, so I'm taking the top off. I have warm water here. And um, I'm going to start out with this. Now, what I did on this is I have painter's tape. And I taped over the center section so that it'll be white so I can paint anything I want there. Now, if you get luster there, no problem. You can paint china paint over luster, but you can't paint luster over china paint. And because this is going to be diffused in the water, if you don't make perfect edges, it's not a problem. Then I made a little tab, and all I did was fold the tape in half and leave two edges that I could put on the tape that's there so I can dip it. When I'm done dipping this, I'm going to lay it this way to dry, okay? Just so you know, okay? I'm going to do one of those, and I'm also going to do the light um, bisque. Because what I want to do is mix up my colors. I don't want to have two of this and two of that, like the same ornament, okay? So we're going to use my old green. This is Reed's green. And I'm going to use... Um, Nancy's blue green luster with this. Okay, I got it open. Got it open. And I'm going to take my uh, pipette, take a little out, and just drop it in. Hmm. I'm a little disappointed. This is not dispersing the way Nancy's does. And I think it's just because of the type of old um, luster that I have. So let me try something else. I'm gonna clean out my, I got a little awesome here. I'm just gonna clean it out. And I'm gonna take some of her uh, green apple luster. I'm going to put it on a toothpick. Oh, it just started to form the circle. Okay, so it did form a circle. And I know you can't see it in here, but you have to wait until the halo forms. Okay, and then I'm going to take the other color, which is her blue-green, and I'm just going to dip with a toothpick, and I'm just going to drop a couple in here. I'm using exactly what she used, so hopefully it works. Oh, I got a line. I'm not thrilled with that. Oh, I'm gonna clean out my pipette and see if I try the pipette, if that makes a difference. The pipette makes a difference. I just didn't have enough in here. Alrighty. Yeah, it's not, it's not as luscious as it was with her. So it could be my luster. My luster is very, very old. Um, I have two of them. Let me try this one. I've never had a problem with this luster, putting it in the water, so. It might be that my water is too hot. See, I got green on the bottom there. Can you see the green on the bottom? Now I'm getting a good green around the edges and everything. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to dip it in again. Okay. 
I'm pretty happy with that. Can you see? See all the color on there? And I'm just going to hang it up on this little jewelry hook I have here. Okay, well, we're going to try it differently now with the next one. Add a little cold to it. I'm going to pour a little warm in it. So here's the water uh, that I just took out. Okay, move it over there for you. And that's cooler water. So what I'm going to do with this is I have yellow pearl and I'm going to use a toothpick. I'm just going to get it out and touch the top of the water. Do you see how it's dispersing? Can you even see how it's dispersing? It's forming a, a circle, a haze on the top of the water there. And it's going across the whole water. See that? And then I'm going to use uh, violet luster. And I'm going to take the violet luster and I'm going to dip it in the center of the yellow. Okay. And now we're going to try this guy in there. And you get a little. You get a little. I'm going to pour a little of this in. And this is the warm water. I'm going to feel it. Oh, it's... There we go. And this time, I'm going to use just her colors, okay? So maybe that makes a difference, too. She said you can use old lusters for this, but I'm wondering. So this is her yellow. Boy, I can hardly see it. I'm just going to put it a couple of different places because I don't really feel like I'm seeing a lot of yellow there. Now you can see the yellow. I don't know if you can see the yellow or not, but I can see the yellow. And now I'm going to take a blue-green or a turquoise luster, and it'll look red when it goes in. And I'm just going to put it in the middle. Okay, and we're going to take this guy and put in, oh. and you can see from the back, I've got a lot of the turquoise on there, I've got a little bit of the other on there, okay. And I'm just going to flip him over and lay him down. He's good. And I'm going to dip this guy in. And twirl him around a little and get him to pick up some color. Can you see the color on the bottom? Yeah, definitely you can see the color on the bottom. The yellow is not showing up so much. There is yellow on it. What I'm going to do with these two is I'm going to put a gold top on them and then perhaps even paint them. So I took a minute and I went and got some cold water. This is cold water now, okay? And I'm going to use gold. Oh, let's see now, there, okay. There's a little gold. Now let's try this. I put a little gold on that. This one could use a little gold. go and I'm gonna put a little more gold in the water and we'll try this last one 
See now, with this one, we'll probably have big patches of gold on there. And I don't think I did my long twirly one. Where is that? Here it is. Let's try the long twirly one. And I'll just do it in gold. There we go. This is the blue-green luster. And I'm just going to drizzle it in the water now. Just a tad. Oh, a little more than I wanted. Okay. Yeah, you're right. The colder water works better. Look at that. So we'll have to see how that one turns out because we know what we did for that. I don't know what to say. I really don't. Um, I'm kind of disappointed because she was just whipping them out there and it seemed like it worked really well. And I even did one. And it came out fine. Um, but for some reason, my old Lester's or my new Lester's or something just really aren't uh, cooperating the way that I that they did there. I, I don't know what the difference is. I think it probably is the water. Uh, the water, the cold water is good, and I think it works better than the warm, so maybe that's it. So um, I'm going to fire these after they dry. I'm going to let them dry a little bit. Then pick up those brushes, keep experimenting, <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi everyone. I'm um, opening up the uh, lusters from my kiln. I haven't seen them yet. And I thought you might also like to uh, look at them with me because this, is, this was quite an experiment. That's the kiln. Now, I've got this down as low as it will go. So uh, you should be able to see some of it. I'm going to get out of the way so we don't have a lot of, a lot of uh, shadow. This is the first ornament. You'll remember we did a lot of gold on this one. We dipped it in the gold at the very end. The gold turned out brownish. Can you see that brown there? Quite a bit of brown. There's the blue. It's actually kind of pretty, I think. If you look at it this way, see there? Yeah. So I think I could paint the top of that gold, and it would kind of, hanging on a tree, it would look very nice. Okay, let's see what else we have here. This is the match to it. We didn't put any gold on this one. And this was just green, and it looks like, Hmm, I would think like a blue of some kind. See? Okay, take out the kiln furniture. I set those on kiln furniture so they wouldn't be right on the bottom. Now these others are on these kind of things here, see? Okay, so this is, look at that. That's gorgeous. This is the one we put in at the very end and just let everything go over it. Didn't look like much yesterday, but look at it today. All kinds of blues and everything. Let's see what we have next here. Oh, this is the twirly one. This is another one that we dipped in at the last minute. Look at the colors here. I'll just turn it so you can see. This one I think is the prettiest. Aren't they amazing? And it'll look the same either way. You can see that. This is mainly, it looks like blue. Mainly blue in the background. And that's actually very pretty. And this is the one that had the front that we taped so that it wouldn't get any luster on it. Now this is the last one. And it's uh, it has a lot of gold on it. A little blue, a little, is that purple? That must be purple. That must be that violet that I threw in the water. Yeah, there we go. We have one side that's really, 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 really pretty. And the other side's kind of eh. So, um, but that's just the way they came out. And this is how they turned out. So there's, I've got this light on and I don't know where the light is. So I can't easily turn it off, but actually probably helps. So I wanted you to see um, how these turned out, and uh, you might want to try them. I would say 
This is when we just put it on top and dipped. It worked for some, it didn't work for others. So if you want to stir it, be my guest. If you want to add other colors, be my guest. Because I, what I found was a lot of the things that I learned in class didn't hold up in reality. 